<laughs> what a weirdo. <laughs> He's just doing what he naturally does. Yeah. What are you drinking? Fucking things up. Fruit Punch, Arizona. That's your favorite. For Arizona, yeah. It's like, like the, the energy one too. Choice for cotton mouth. It's great juice. It's only a dollar. <laughs> That's like a high schooler stoner's choice. Yeah. Dude, yeah, he had a bottle. plastic Snapple bottle before. Snapple yeah. puts their bottles in plastic now. They put their bottles in plastic? They make their bottles That's of crazy. plastic. Because <laughs> it was glass. Yeah. Just inside of plastic now. Yeah. yeah they don't trust the little kids anymore. They lost glass. me when they lost the glass. Yeah, it doesn't have it that doesn't satisfying the slap on the back of it. I the, forgot about that. And the, the top that, yeah. doesn't pop. You didn't know about Snapple facts, right? You were the one who told me about them. Isn't but they, wild? you know, they, they put them. They still put them in the new bottles. You, you don't put them in the cap facts anymore. No. I was like, look at the bottom of the cap. You didn't know there was He's Snapple like, facts in no, general. No, I didn't. Your entire life. I thought it was like laffy, like laffy taffy jokes. Like I didn't know Snapple did that. Laffy taffy jokes. You no, know, like laffy taffy always has the jokes on them. That's what you brought to the table right now. It's the closest thing I could think of that like had jokes or anything on it. Laffy you know about Laffy Taffy jokes? No, I don't need Laffy Taffy. <laughs> those are like Seth either. jokes. The one, they are. the one liners. Yeah, he loves mm-hmm. those. He loves those. What's this? What's this podcast about? Nothing. I'm just here. <laughs> so, who are you? I'm Cam. Who's that? I'm an apprentice here at Borrow Time. I'm your apprentice. <laughs> what's that like? What's it like being an apprentice for John Nelson specifically? It's cool. You can be yeah. honest here. We're all friends. <laughs> space. I mean, it's definitely a lot of like hard work, dedication, um, a lot of time. You pretty much have to devote your life to it. Sounds like such a scripted answer. Yeah, it's really. What's it really like? It sucks. <laughs> it's absolute <Very> hell. <laughs> you hate yourself. Uh, it's cool though. At the end of the day, like you sick career. You know how it like started with Lafleur and that whole. Oh, yeah, man. yeah, you messaged him, and you yeah. should run the story back just in case <laughs> anybody doesn't know it. All right. Yeah, so how'd you get the apprenticeship? I uh, DM'd LaFleur first, because I was following him. Yeah. No response. <laughs> zero zero <Classic>. response. <laughs> uh, called the shop, got in contact with Seth, and then I came in for the interview. Brought, like, my portfolio in. What was the interview like? Five minutes of you not caring. You're just like, I wonder if he'll show up. <laughs> did I interview you? Yeah, you did. You took like, you stepped away for like five minutes, yeah. So what, you walked in and you talked to Seth? Yeah, and then I sat. We didn't have the table here yet. What do we have? Nothing. Nothing was here? No. Did I pull up two chairs and interview Seth, you in the middle of the room in front of all the artists? <laughs> yeah, like right yeah. There. You gotta put him in the spotlight. You gotta put him in the <laughs> But what happened when... You messaged LaFleur, and then LaFleur told you that some gay kid messaged him? Yeah, after I left. So my version was, like, I walked up to LaFleur because him and I were talking about getting a new apprentice for the shop. And I was like, yo, this kid messaged me, and I showed his Instagram. And he was like, oh, that kid messaged me, too, Um, I think. And then I was like, was his name Cam? He's like, I don't know. It was just, like, some gay kid. And I was like, okay, we'll see. And then Cam showed up, and before was like, that's, that's him. him. He didn't even have to say it. He just knew. And then, like, I felt dumb to LaFleur. I was like, oh, man, like, this kid sucks. <laughs> and, like, I'm just weak, and I, like, take on the younger kids. Right. Because I feel bad for them. Um, and now he's here. And the, Yeah, and I guess we interviewed. And then, like, with, with everyone, it's like, you know, I don't really care about anything you have to say. Just show up, you know. And so then you just kept showing up. Yeah, you were like, be here Tuesday. That was in like two days. I was like in college, enrolled in classes. I had a full-time job. I was like, I had to figure this out. Cam flexes about college yeah. a lot. I didn't figure it out. I dropped it's out. It's like he thinks he's better than us. Yeah. Did you go thing, to college? No, I didn't go to college. Yeah. It's, it's not worth he's it. He's got to lord something over here. It's not <laughs> worth it. I mean, miserable. Yeah. Do you feel like you wasted your time at college? Completely. Yeah. Why? Because I don't use any of it. First off, like, uh, your, like, basic classes, your, uh, 
forget the word for it now. But the classes like you have to do before you can even start learning about what you want to learn. Like your prerequisites. Right. Horrible. Just pointless. Yeah. Are you in like, debt? No, I went to college for nothing. I had a scholarship. Oh, that's cool. So you threw away a scholarship? Yeah. Like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> So, what, I mean, because I feel like I liked you a lot better the first month that you were here because you were really nice and, like, you were grateful to be here. And do you, do you remember it that? It doesn't take long for the twinkle to fade from your eye. Into no. no you and it never comes back. Big black lake in your eye. <laughs> yeah, no, when I, uh, yeah, when I started, you. Cam was already here for a couple months. Uh, so he was already in Well, that, what that really of, reminds me or, like, keeps that fresh is when we get a new apprentice. Like, now we have Legan, and, like, he's so happy. Dude, I man. enjoy it because I'm like, is that what I really looked like when I started? Like, was I eager to do things? Yeah, like, that's kind you of were stoked yeah. to be here. You're like, I'm going to be a tattoo artist. Like, this is going to be great. All my, I don't, I don't know what you thought, but you thought this was the answer, and you were grateful, and you were nice to everyone. And, like, if anyone asked anything, you're like, I got it. You would even try to get it before they asked. Yeah, most and of now time, Ricky's yeah. like, "Can you take pictures for me?" And you're like, "Fuck you, Ricky!" <laughs> and I'm like, "Whoa, dude!" I mean, right or wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, he's starting to get that uh, that lackadaisical approach to life that we all get. It only took me about two weeks, but <laughs> it took you like two days. It's I cool. mean, I feel like everyone goes through it. I mean, look at Adrian. What? Look at Adrian. Absolutely zero sparkle. I mean, I don't when Adrian came in, I don't even really remember. Because him and Kelly, I think, started. No? no? He brought Kelly and Romel in. Is that how it happened? Yeah. I just don't really remember anything. And then I remember I fired him. And then he came back the next day and was like, yo, I'm ready to work. And I love that shit. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's oh, run it. Man. And then, like, since then, like, well, for a while, Adrian was the shit. He's still the shit. He just has mild depression. Just mild. And severe cool. alcoholism. Pretty cool. You fired him, so you still don't pay him, right? What? You still don't pay him then, right, since he's fired? Well, I feel like him and I came to an agreement because when he did start tattooing for money... Um, I was like, yo, you know, like, we work off percentages, right? And he's like, yeah, I know. I don't think he knew, though. And then I was like, okay, cool. So, like, you know, if you, I explained the scale to him, and I'm like, starting out, like, you're going to be on 50%. He's like, perfect. I think he was just stoked to tattoo. Right. He's <laughs> like, yeah, I've heard those words before. <laughs> right, numbers and yeah. mixed with letters. I don't speak that language, but I just want to tag. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It's like five bucks. Right. And I was like, you know how percentages work, right? And he was like, yeah. Percentages, yeah. I just like knew he didn't know. So I was like, all right, cool. What's 50% of 100? And he's like, well, I'm not really good at math, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, we'll be fine. So, like, we just kind of worked it out that I'll give him whatever percentage I decide and he get, he thinks it's 50. Yeah, and he's yeah. been happy with that. Right, I mean, you can't complain, right? He's still here. Yeah. He's still eating, so he's doing fine. Yeah. yeah. I think Adrian's my favorite. Me too. Don't tell him I said that, though. You too? Adrian's your favorite? I like Adrian. You don't like John White over here? I love John White. But John's not your favorite? Adrian's my favorite. Why? He's a very, he's a very favoritable guy. Yeah. He taught me everything I know. What the fuck did he teach you? How to take everything for granted and talk back to Ricky? <laughs> my man. He taught you how to rap. Not as good as him. <laughs> his raps are fire. <laughs> they are. Yo, it's just... Dude, it took us Adrian's so like a soundboard. long to film that rap video. It's not even a rap video. I think he says two lines. But I could not hold it together, dude. He's a walking soundboard. Adrian? Yeah. I mean, the bird calls. The bird calls. I'm going to adjust this. <laughs> All right. Um, well, I mean, 
that's a, probably a good good place to start talking about the video of the day since we're talking about Adrian. That's right. That's right. So we have John White here today. Unfortunately, we have Cam. Sorry about that. Um, the video that we're talking about today, we weren't titling them back then. But I guess it's kind of like artist talk. Do you know the video? Yeah. All right. So essentially, John comes up to me and is like saying things. I mean, how would you describe it? It's just like the normal stuff I do every day, just kind of like <laughs> right. slightly condescending things. Right. That I kind of use coded language to get towards you to tell you that I don't like your tattoo. So right. that's kind of how it evolved. Right. And then we wanted to make a video that highlights that that's what it is in the industry. Yeah. So I think it's like a good way for people to, to see how the conversations go between us. As us meaning the tattoo artist. Right. Especially like right in front of the client too sometimes. Like do you do this? Use lingo. Yeah, because essentially it's like something is being said, but by that something it's else meaning. is being said. Yeah. yeah. You know? Uh, I think the example in the video, maybe the most obvious or the most common is you're like, is that a cover up? Right? <laughs> That's a rough one to hear. When and it's tattoo. not a cover up. So like by him saying that, <laughs> typically, I mean, what do you think? If I walked up and I'm like, oh, is that a cover up? Like, damn, I went too dark. Right. That's what I think too. Yeah. I went too yeah. dark. Because cover ups yeah. use no a lot of darkness almost, yeah. to cover up yeah. or whatever. You just have to sometimes. But like I would take that as like an insult. Yeah, if it sure. wasn't a cover-up. Especially if I'm not trying to do a cover-up. Right. It looks like I'm attempting to cover something by going so right. dark. I'm going to be like, damn. I'm going to start commenting that in all Cam's work. <laughs> yeah. Sick cover-up. Hell yeah. Is that a cover-up? Cool. Especially if it's cool like stencil. just fine line work. Sick cover-up. <laughs> Hell yeah. I like that temporary tat. So this was... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, how long do you leave that towel on for? <laughs> This, I think, was in, like, the first five videos. Yeah, it was early. It was really early. Yeah, yeah. It had the early vibe to it. I remember you, you told me, you are like, I want to make TikTok videos. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I think You're you like, started. wait, are you the one that messaged the floor about the apprenticeship? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've only heard about that, uh, that app at the time. In like really bad stories related to like what's that one uh, cuties or like other pedophile associated apps. Yeah. So when you said that, I was like, it all makes sense. Right. Obviously, he's got the twink apprentice. Right. He's on TikTok. You're like this man just knows what he up. wants. Yeah. Right. So I didn't like judge you, and I was like, sure, you know, I'll be in the video. Just change town, change my last name again. <laughs> it's no big deal. <laughs> Uh, Which I really appreciated, because at that time, no one wanted to be involved. Seth didn't even want to hold the camera. <laughs> He's like, I'm embarrassed for you. Did he film that one? I don't think so. I know he filmed the couple. That was you. Danny filmed that. Okay, yeah. yeah. The editing definitely looks like you. But we were still editing. doing like the word pop-up yeah. thing. Yeah. Um, which, because I didn't, bro, I was like right there with you. Like, I don't know how to fucking make content, you know? And, and I definitely, I have a, like a little experience with editing and I'm like, that is a nightmare and I don't have time for that. And I didn't like know where the roles are going. So I was like, okay, I know that I can record a couple five second things, put them together and make like text pop-ups. Like maybe with those tools, we can make some people laugh. Yeah. At least two. Yeah. That's definitely. Really, yeah. Our friends that have <laughs> severe mental disorders, yeah. you know, me and Adrian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it turns out that uh, there's a big audience for that. Way more than just our friends, which is good. Which is right, good. it gives uh, Adrian a time to shine. Cam's got his time in the sun. I like it. I think Cam maybe has benefited the most off these videos. Oh, 100%, 100%. Way more than you and I. He gets to no show appointments now. No. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you missed my first appointment for five years. What's five that? Five years in a tattoo. You didn't miss an appointment? Yeah. This guy gets on TikTok. He's just no-showing, coming in late, doing five grams of fucking wheat dabs. When people are like, oh, my God, you're Cam from TikTok, how does that make you feel? It's kind of cool. I'm like TikTok very star. like socially awkward if I don't know you though. Like I feel weird when other people know me and I don't know them. 
So it's it just like, get weird. Yeah. Have you had any like weird, awkward interactions with people? Everyone. <laughs> What's the worst one? That lady out front the other day was pretty wild. Why? She was just who's way the, too excited. Who's the lady? I haven't been here. You're gonna tell me the story. Well, we'll get because she, she ends up coming inside later, which I kind of missed. Yeah. So we were outside, all of us smoking. We were probably like, damn, what, like ten of us out there almost. And she's like grabbing a bag out of her trunk and literally just screams, "Oh my God, is that you?" And then to she you, like, like Cam? Yeah. Well, she said my name. She was like, "Is that Cam?" Right. Yeah. And she was like. <laughs> The dude who hates himself in there. <laughs> <laughs> that meant me. Yep. Nice. And then she You're like, yeah, in. just walk inside the shop. And then, them. so like, she was, she like screamed. I was like, just finished smoking, so I was like, anxiety kind of hit me. I had to come inside for a second. <laughs> she touched your wiener. No. So she said, "Hey, Cam, is that you?" And you were like, "Ah!" Oh. Yeah, for and you just went inside. Instant like freeze. <laughs> nice. I was like, "Yeah, hi. I'll be right back." And that's like every interaction. No, she just caught me off guard. Because I've seen a few, and I, I think Cam plays the cool card. I don't know like what to they'll, do. They'll walk in, and they're like, oh, like, whatever. I recognize the shop, blah, blah, blah. And they'll look at Cam, and I'll be like, oh, that's Cam. And he'll be, like, on the tattoo chair, which I hate when he does this. I want him to, like, get up and talk to people, and he'll just be like this. What's up? Yeah, you're cool. You're cool, guys. Man. And that's all he says. Because there's, no, like, what do you say to that? What's up, back? What's up, back? <laughs> and then the conversations. Over. What, do, what do you what do you say to them? Though? I say, hey, what's up? Thanks for coming. Yeah. Do you like the I'm videos? Like, I, mean, like I really appreciate your support. I'm, I'm like sorry, that. Cam has autism. Yeah. It's definitely easier to like respond to people online that show the support and stuff. Like that. I just get but that's like person. the whole generation. I feel like yeah, they're responding to online stuff. Yeah, like maybe when they walk in, you should be like, hey, what's your number? And then go run and hide in the back and text them. <laughs> Hey, thanks so hey, much for coming. Instagram. <laughs> yeah, dick pic, whatever, you know? Throw some emojis in there. I feel like that would work for you. Do you get a lot of support online, or is it mostly hate shit? I get a fair amount of support, yeah. Fair amount? You I'll, get like, like, 50, I'll, 50? I'll get, like, the, the joking hate that I, like, know it's, like, his fan base. Yeah, joking. <laughs> <laughs> like, on my last post, I got, like, the can't, can't wait to see it finished. That was cool. I didn't yeah, because we realize posted that a TikTok. was gonna happen. Yeah, but then I got, yeah. got like a lot of comments. But like I know at the end of the day, those are just like people from your comments and stuff. So that's cool. Like that's cool support. Like I, I like that. No, they love Cam. I post like an Adrian video, and they're like, "Where's Cam?" Yeah, I was tattooing <laughs> the other day, and you guys were on Facebook Live. <laughs> it was just like, "Where's Cam?" And Kyla's just re- recording me while I'm trying. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of shitty that day. You're like, oh, I'm drawing. I'm important. Yeah, I did like six tattoos that day. My bad. I was just like really tired. What are you bragging? No, I was just tired. You gotta hold it together, dude. I was trying to. What's the most tattoos you've done in one day? Hundreds, dude. I mean, Friday the Thirteenth, I did more than that. But like, for a day, like walking in expecting, like I had one appointment that day, and then, like doing six, which I love, but like. Still unexpected. You're like kind of like drawing, kind of like getting together. Especially when you're tattooing a group, like people back to back to back, they're all like literally waiting for each other. To He's like, telling us as if we don't know. Yeah, I appreciate well, that. Well, ex- explaining myself. Really. I know you guys know. Next time, I'll keep that in mind. It's good to know. It's good to know. Yeah. You get used to it, though. And then it'll just flow. You know what I mean? No, it was just throwing me off being on the live while I was trying to do it. So that's why. So you think you get more support comments than he does? No. You get more hate know. than he does? Oh, no, he definitely gets more hate. Yeah? Yeah, yeah I love that. Show. To be honest, yeah, I do mainly get, like, support. Because it'll be, like, people that have been, like, keeping track with my tattoos. bad for you. Stuff. They see John yeah. yell at you all day in the videos. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, that poor kid. He gets little it all the time. Know. It's, little like, pity know. support. Yeah, little do they know. We're, he's the bully. To yeah. us. No. Him. <laughs> Straight disrespect. <laughs> Talks down to his elders like Adrian. So what's the kind of what's the kind of shit they say to you on TikTok? <sighs> I don't honestly I don't read it a lot, but when I do, well I mean I'll read it, but it's like it's like bullshit stuff. I don't know if they're like young, if they're just not worth like putting the time in for like a real insult. I know in the beginning I was getting a lot of comparisons to. I think AJ from The Sopranos. Mm-hmm. People like kept bringing that up. <laughs> Chester um, from Lincoln Park. 
you know, the one that killed himself. Right. And uh, what else? What else was in there? I saw the AJ from Supreme. People are like, wow. you're mean, you suck. In the beginning, you know, they're like, oh, you're giving away the tattoo secrets, you know. Yeah. This video in particular that we're talking about with you, I think we got decent support. This was still, like, in the beginning, so I don't feel like people were seeing this content as much. It was more, like, the tattoo artist meme stuff. Right, it was more of the community. And yeah, like, like, you know, we'd see, like, Monday Malarkey. There was a couple of people on YouTube, like, doing almost, like, as short as a boomerang. Like, a short three, four, maybe five second. And then just some, like, joke and text. And the little, like, video that was happening. Yeah, yeah. It was more like a moving meme rather than, like, a video. So, like, I was reading through some of the comments recently on this video. And a lot of people were like, oh, I can relate. Like, these are spot on. Like, it, it was still in the beginning. Like... We're putting a couple videos out, and they're very relatable. That might have been, like, the hook in the beginning. Um, the first one with the 10% smaller, they're like, that was bad. I was like, <laughs> Adrian's coming up. up to me. He's like, you're a meme on the internet, and everyone hates you, you know? And I was like, my work is complete. <laughs> um, but it was like, you're giving away our secrets. You're, like, talking about the industry. I mean, because tattooing does come from kind of that, like, that secrecy aspect yeah, or like the don't tell yeah the exclusivity if you want an apprenticeship you have to earn this knowledge right you know it was even kind of taboo when people would put out like literature about it let alone like a video being like look how i deceive my clients and make yeah. more money <laughs> or yeah. whatever you know you gotta be just keeping like a little briefcase of acetate stencils Trading them with people you know, otherwise you're a fucking fraud. Sell out. Cam doesn't know shit about yeah. that. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> you, I mean, you've used an iPad your whole career. Yeah. You don't even know about wood pencils. Yeah. Eh. I personally don't like the iPad. Why? I mean, I can 100% understand, like, how it makes our jobs easier. Because, like, I kind of, hand stenciling sucks. It takes forever. Um, Have you ever hand stenciled any tattoo? Like a very simple one. Yeah, it sucks. You've hand stenciled a bunch. Probably, yeah. 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 I actually, the time sucks, but like for a realism stencil, it's nice. You probably yeah, get a, you get a precise, five. precise stencil. I was like one of the last people I knew to get an iPad. I was on hand stencils for a while. Yeah. And then if you fuck up the placement of a hand stencil, you got to do it again. That's when you yeah. really want to kill yourself. Well, like, Nico dropped that video where he's like, do that and then make a copy of it. Yeah, I was always too lazy to do that. Me too, I was bro. like, I'm going to fucking I'm like, I got this. this. <laughs> yeah, that was like that whole, that whole crew. Like, I know you were doing it. Matt B was still doing it for a while. Dan Price. Like, a lot of, the, a lot of those guys and the little crew were doing it forever. Yeah. Um, they were doing it so long that I was like, ah, oh, maybe I should go back to doing it like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's just way more precise. You can add it in, like, little subtle shading yeah. techniques or whatever. Yeah. But it's way easier on the iPad. Yeah, for tattoo wise, like, the iPad's cool. But if I'm going to, like, create art, I don't really like it. Yeah, I'm really not impressed by, like, digital painting. No, me neither yeah. at all. Because the, the amount of tools I use to, like, yeah, sharpen like, stuff. Like, to be honest, you could just be a magician with the app and not be a good artist. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like you could just technical. yeah, you could just learn all the tools and do a perfect circle instantly. But like, what's the actual skill in that? Being able to like place it and like move it over a millimeter, you know. So I don't. I mean, really I've like definitely that. seen them where there's like a bunch of time. I'm just saying, I'm never impressed. I never get it. that wow factor that like besides seeing something in person, like right. seeing a real painting and being like, that's sick. Yeah. Seeing the brush, the brush strokes, like seeing the pencil strokes, stuff like that. That's like impressive iPad. Impressed now that I think about it, it's rare that I'm impressed by art in general. Yeah. Do you? I'm just kind of over art. Yeah. You know, at this point, everything's been done. Yeah. Like you really got to show me some shit I've never seen before, or like with ta tattoos, it's either like mind blowing color realism, yeah, crazy soft black and gray mm -hmm. realism. Once in a while, maybe like a Neo or like a a trad thing. Something if it's like, like a, a way I haven't seen it done before. Yeah. 
And, the, and it works? And it works, stuff like that. Yeah, or like some just like insanity, surrealism. Even like... Or offensive stuff. Yeah. Just makes you want to stop tattooing. Yeah. Like I've wasted the last 10 years of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Every day I open Instagram, I'm over it. Yeah. Right, and then the Just next day up. I'll open it. I'll, I'll open it, and I'll be like, "Everybody sucks." <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I'll see something like we, I feel like we've seen the like neon neon sign kind of in the realism color light source. Mm-hmm. I'll see those. I was seeing those for a while, and and I, if they were well done, I was like, "Wow, that's really sick." But it, you can tell it took like thirty hours on one panel. It's like this crazy big piece, and I'm like, pretty decent. You know, I like that or whatever. And then Cam will be like, look at this rose I did. Yeah. And I'm like, are you fucking serious? Don't bring me this shit, bro. <laughs> Just, like, come back to me in, like, seven years. You know? Yeah. He's like, what do you think? He's like, Gosh. what do you think I do with a seven-liner? The whole thing. <laughs> I don't – I can't think of – because I know, like, how fragile artists are in the beginning. I try not to fuck with them. Yeah. You know? So, like, kind of relating back to the video with, like, the artist talk or, like, talking shit or whatever, I feel like I only do that to, like, veteran artists. Like, we're all, like, fuck with them a little bit. Like, I don't know if I'd go up to Cam and be like, yo, is that a cover-up? Right. Like, mid-tattoo <laughs> yeah. on, like, a client. Yeah. I mean, maybe I should. Yeah, I mean, after the apprenticeship, your ego is just real fragile. Something yeah, like it's weird just... how that works. You probably experience this. It's like a up, 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 up. Like, I'm learning all this stuff. People know my name at the shop now. I got everyone's copy <laughs> order right. Like, you're killing it. Yeah. You know? And then you're, like, comfortable at the shop. You work. Maybe new people come in. You've even been here longer than some people, which is pretty new. Um, like whether we're switching managers or doing stuff, like you're not the new man on the totem pole. And then it's like time to tattoo. And then you do your tattoo, your first one, and you fucking suck. And you're like back down. You're like, uh, yeah, like why? What was I thinking? What the fuck was like that I'm last eight loser. months for? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then you're only limited to tattoos like this fucking big. Right. And you want to do shit like this. Yeah, and and your every mentor time you is like, finally this get is one. how much I trust you. And you yeah. do the and first tat, and then you have to like wait another month to do the second one. So you have to like simmer on the fact you suck. Yeah, like you <laughs> fucked that one up, and you got to sit with it for a month and deal with it. You know, And everyone knows, because they're like curious, like, yo, Cam just did his first tattoo. How does right. it look? Show me. And then they show, and you're like, oh... Do you, like, do it on somebody in the shop? You're just forced to look at it every day. Yeah, Watch like, it heal and get worse. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. right. Yeah. And especially if you do it on someone at the shop, like, they're going to pick at it. They're oh, not taking they're not care taking of it. They're not taking care of it. They don't care. Yeah. 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 Right. Tattoo artists are the worst. Right. And then they have a weird scar and, you know, and, and everyone you knows you fucked for it. Up. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know Adrian picked that shit. <laughs> Who was your first tattoo on? Adrian. What's that? Adrian. Adrian? Yeah. You remember when you tattooed me? Have you ever tattooed me? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Smart. Smart. He may not have went to college, but he's still smarter than you. <laughs> Figured that one out. <laughs> no, nah, it's tough in the beginning, man. Yeah, for sure. Tatting's hard. Bro, I fucked everyone up <laughs> in the beginning. You too? No. Yeah, Johnny good. killed it out Well, of you, me. like, forced me to keep it simple, though. You like yeah, didn't quite let us. Discourage. Yeah, you didn't like let me get ahead of myself. Well, because I yeah. fucked it up, bro. Like yeah. I did two apprenticeships. Like I got fired from both, pretty much. And then I was like, "Well, don't have a choice. I'm just gonna figure it out. It's either this or go back to drug addiction." You See know. What happens. And yeah. uh, you know, drug addiction's always higher. And so yeah, <laughs> I. So then I went to like a half smoke shop, half tattoo shop. I was like, this is more my speed. For sure. <laughs> Those are the best places. Yeah, bro. Because, like, you come in, you buy a piece, maybe you get high, it kind of softens the blow. So it just drags around. Drag scabs on you. But, it, but I had to, like, pretend I wasn't an apprentice. Right. That's, like, how I got the job. You know, I'm pretty sure I printed a bunch of photos 
from the internet that weren't mine. And yeah. I was like, portfolio? Just me. watermarked with other people's names on there. <laughs> yeah, probably, dude. It was so bad. <laughs> but like, I needed to figure this out. You <laughs> That's know? the good thing about a half smoke shop, half tattoo shop. The manager and clients are too fucked up Johnny gets to it. notice. Yeah. So like people are coming in and I didn't have a mentor to be like, yo, do this small silhouette. You can hide your line work in there. You know, do it good. Like I remember when I first people that came in, they're like, yo, I want half sleeve color clouds. You're like, I got you. I was like, color clouds? <laughs> they're like, yeah, like a sunset. Hell yeah. I'm like the whole thing clouds. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm pretty sure like, he's like, how much? You know, and that was like, that was the question. That's when the negotiation started. That was a question. You know what yeah. I mean? Everything was a warm up until it's like, how much? Right. You right. know, and then you're like, you got to focus. <laughs> you don't want to go too high because you need, you know, you don't want them to just leave. You need this client, but you don't want to undersell yourself. And then halfway through the tattoo, you're like, I yeah. fucked up. And especially you don't have the experience, like you undersell it and then it takes you 12 hours to do something that fucking big. Yeah. Bro, you it just took wanted me to do two sessions. Probably six hours each session. Guess how much, you boy. Get what? Guess what number I threw out at him? Three, three hundred. One hundred twenty-five. <laughs> Big baller, dude. I didn't fucking know, bro. And like the fact that he said yes, and I got to take home one hundred twenty-five dollars or whatever Huge. a percentage of that. That was big money, bro. Yeah, that's wild. Yo, I was like the second session when he came back after I already got paid. That sucked. But the first yeah. day, yeah, boy, it was balling. He had enough <laughs> money for gas, a monster, You've been bro. Doing orange waves. What? Orange waves. Orange waves. Like what the tattoo look like though? <laughs> yeah, because you said sunset clouds. Bro, I wonder like, if you just gave him like. Bro, I literally streets. used like every color. It was like purple, blues. It was terrible. <laughs> this poor guy, bro. He got a galaxy. And like I tried really hard yeah. on it. I was like, I'm gonna give you the nicest fucking sunset arm. Oh, yeah. You're probably the really good at packing color seen. back then. <laughs> my man got a sick, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a sick nebula. Yo, but it was like I just had to roll with the punches. <laughs> and sometimes I feel like you guys miss out on that. Like being in that street shop and just getting thrown anything, and it's either like make money today or fucking don't. Yeah. You know? Because yeah. if you make no money, like you gas, whatever expenses, come, you're losing money. You know, there's no like balance out zero days. No, yeah, no matter, if you don't tattoo, you lose money that day. Right. That's one of the best things about working on South Beach is I always felt like I could leave town whenever. I could fuck anything up. The client was from somewhere else right. in the world. I could just disappear. Nobody would know. Yeah. So yeah. Every, everyone on Miami has an alias. Like, no yeah. one's they're using their real name there. Every time somebody That's came in with something there. out of my wheelhouse, I'd be like, fuck it, I'll do it. Never see you again anyway. I don't understand turning down tattoos yeah. at the time. Yeah, I take everything. Yeah, dude, I was the only artist in the back of this smoke shop, yeah. you know? So, like, if anything came in, and I was working right next to um, another shop that was good and would do the free piercings and the free everything. So I had to compete with that. And they were, like, for real artists, and I was a for fake artist. Oh, yeah. you so know? you guys were, like, the shop that they went to, and they were like, oh, they'll do it cheaper next door. You were the next door shop. When they went to this other shop, and they were like fifty dollars minimum, and they're like that's too expensive, they came to you, boy. Yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, that was rough. I was there. Make sure the little mic just gets a little more up. I think it keeps falling down. Yeah. The what? us fucking each other like your podcast <laughs> cam can take his clothes off <laughs> go ahead cam <laughs> it's cold in here <laughs> <laughs> hmm Nothing a little caffeine, nicotine can't fix, you know? Yeah. yeah, man. I think I was I was taking every tattoo I could when I started, and that's how I ended up in black and gray. I started doing neo-trad tattoos, but I was like, I'll fucking tattoo whatever comes through the door. 
so yeah. that I can go to the bar after this. Your color shit's crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, black and gray was some shit that I never really did until I just started taking oh, everything you were I could doing more South color. Yeah. So, yeah, you just got to do whatever the fuck comes in. Yeah. I always wanted to do black and gray, though. For some reason, that was harder for me in the beginning. I think learning how to use a negative space... Um, like color packing was just simple. It was like a coloring book. It was easy. Line it out. Pack, pack, pack. Maybe throw in a little fade. Worst case scenario, just use the darker color to cover it all up if I fuck it up. You know. That's it. Um, I think my first tattoo. Well, I was coming from street art background too. I don't know if you guys have experience yeah. in graffiti, but so that's like what I was like associating it with. Like cool. Like just. Essentially the reverse, though. Like, I'll do my black lines first, and then I'll, I'll color it in after. I might have even done the first couple like you would spray something, like yeah, the color yeah. first <laughs> and then the black, because it's all I fucking knew, you know? Right. Um, but, yeah, maybe one day we should just have Cam take everything. I think so. You should actually just run a Friday the 13th special, and Cam's the only artist here. Yeah. <laughs> You think you could handle that? I'll try. How is your color work? I've never even seen you do color. Meh. It's meh? Yeah. M-E-H? M-E, yeah, M-E-H. Meh. Mm. I am trying to get more into it. I just bought a bunch of Do them. you want to do color? I like, like, the, like that new, like, the muted Neo stuff with, like, the pastels and, like, the burnt kind of colors. Like, I like that. Like the usual neo stuff that's been going yeah. on for ten years. Like I don't like the, like the vibrant, vibrant colors, like yeah. like true reds, and like right? The muted greens. tones. Yeah, I like like the olive greens. Yeah, like, yeah the off colors, like darker reds, almost like burgundies, stuff like that. I'm. I've seen it done well, but I feel like a lot of those don't last over time. Neo tread. Well, with the muted tones. Uh the muted tones. I feel like if you're like. A naturally, like, olive skin, or even the magenta. Well, I don't fucking know. I'm not a color guy. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly uh, have no fucking clue. I mean, they seem to hold up decent here, but I don't really care. Right. I guess that's the other factor. It's like, are you going to take care of them? I'm not. (laughs) That's why I love black and gray. You don't have to take care of it. It looks fucking great. Yeah. Color, you definitely have to stay on top of it. Put you in it. Uh, So maybe color, maybe not. I'm interested. Uh, definitely black and gray, like, was the goal when starting. I guess you're too young to kind of even know. Yeah. I fucking started as color the first two years, and then I rocked those girly gems forever. I love those fucking things. I mean, I put an end to that because, you know, whatever. Yeah. Went to, like, more direction. Those are definitely fun to do, but I couldn't do they them are. forever. Yeah. I like, I like doing them. They're satisfying when you have, like, a really nice contrasted gradient inside yeah. the gem. But uh, the, all that line work is not for me. What about all the colors you got to set up? Yeah, that's see, what that's, I hated the most. You're using like 10 different colors and something. Like Cam, Johnny and I were talking. <laughs> when you got to travel with all the yeah. colors. Have you ever done that before? I mean, yeah, that's one of the biggest factors on why I stopped doing color. It was just the setup, the traveling, all of the inks drying out all the fucking time. They explode on the plane, the ass, bro. Yeah. You've never had to deal with that. It's terrible. So much easier to do black and gray. You have fucking five bottles. Yeah. For me, it's one. I bring one little bottle like this. That's it. So, if that, I'll use fucking tap, baby. Hell yeah. I'll use fucking <laughs> fruit juice, Arizona. 99 cents. Ashes from a candle. Use Gatorade, bro. Hell yeah. You ever cut your gray wash with Gatorade? I haven't had to. I feel like I'm living on the edge when I use a purifier. Purifier? Yeah. What do you mean living on the edge? You're supposed to use distilled, right? Yeah. But it doesn't fucking matter. That's Don't. that's cut the, that, cut that, cut that. <laughs> that's the wild. That's the wild side. <laughs> purified. <laughs> you also bring some coffee in there, boy. <laughs> a little bit of Red Bull in there. Start cutting your uh, gray wash with vodka. <laughs> that's fire. Hell yeah. It is just alcohol. Ooh. You cut it with alcohol? Might as well. What about, Jack won't hurt. what about the mystery bottles with the question marks on them that you think's water, but sometimes it's alcohol? Here's your mind. Run it. <laughs> <laughs> I've already poured it. All right. All right. With the, back to the video, because I had a 
totally bored with whatever Cam's talking about. <laughs> um, that's great. I wish you a long career, Cam. Uh, all right, so when we were making those videos in the beginning, was that the first one that you did with us? Yeah, yeah, that one was the first one. Okay, and then it was you, me, and then I think Zach was the client. I think we did a couple with Zach, and we talk about that. And then in the comments, I'm trying to think of the comments. Feedback was decent. Do you remember getting any feedback personally, like from, from you or like the character in it? No, I really don't go on social media a lot, so. That's great, dude. <laughs> That's probably why you look so healthy. <laughs> um, I don't know if you've seen some of the videos from the beginning with Cam, but it looks like he's aged 10 years. Yeah. Like, you'd think he, he noticed, like, got elected for presidency. Anything. I honestly, I thought it was just because he started tattooing more. You know, I, I was like, the, that's kind of normal. The beard thing. Yeah. Well, he used to have the little dick broom that thing, yeah. on his chin. Yeah, he's trying to be on his grown Bro, and shit. I was telling him forever to shave it. I think we all were. Yeah. We're like, yo, you're doing that thing that, like, 90% of 18-year-olds do when they start to grow facial hair. You're growing what you got, baby. Nope, yesterday, tried. That's it. The neck was getting a little out there. Do you like the beard or, and be honest, bro. It's all right. Do you like the beard or is it just to make you look older? I mean, I look good to her. It gets itchy. That's the only thing that bugs me. I've seriously considered getting laser on my face. Yeah. I fucking hate shaving. Yeah, you told me about that. Yeah. yeah. It's a pain in the ass, man. I get to do it every day. Right? Yeah. Bro, and I'm always going through like buzzers, and they're always great the first time and terrible. And I've ordered the $20 ones and the $200 ones, and they're all trash. Ones with fucking Bluetooth, ones with cords. Yeah. Like I've gone through them. My girls like stop. Yeah, they work great for a month. And then yeah, my it. barber's like, bring it in. We'll sharpen it up. I'll adjust the blade. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to buy another one. Yeah. Just grow out a fucking beard like Cam. You like the beard? Yeah. Why don't you just do just mustache? That's Seth style. It is kind of Seth style. It is Seth style. He rocks it the best in the shop. But there could be more than one. There could always be more than one. A lot I mean, of people in the mutton beards. shop guy. It's not too late for that. What's, um, the, do you know the proper term? Yeah, the mutton chops. There's another term for it. Sideburns? It's kind of like sideburns. Never mind. Oh, they're mutton chops. There's a different name for it. I'll figure it out later. Um, all right, so you're going to keep the beard? Probably. How much money would it take for you to shave it? What do you offer? Five dollars? Nope. <laughs> Ten? Well, what's your number? hundred bucks. What do you say? hundred bucks. A hundred bucks? Yep. <laughs> That's how much it means to you? My beard? Oh, man. <laughs> it grows back. I've been trying to get Dan to shave his <laughs> beard for bucks. two years. Right now. Dan, what was the most I ever offered you to shave your beard? I think you said 3000 3000 And you said no, right? Yeah. Do you remember when we offered Cam $3,000 to make a phone call? Dude. <laughs> Here we go. Not only do I remember that. So, Story okay. Time. Yeah, so it was like, how did that even come up? Well, I haven't really been doing that in a while, but... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. Who put this so far yeah. back? Who put that chair there? <laughs> Jeez. Why did I fall in like slow motion? Oh, God. There's three cameras. <laughs>